nearly six decades after Star Trek introduced the world to the idea of warp speed, that once fictional concept is edging closer to the realm of serious science. Recent research suggests that warp drive may not violate the laws of physics after all. More importantly, new models remove the need for exotic negative energy, one of the biggest obstacles in past theories. While the technological barriers remain immense, the conversation has shifted from impossible to how. In this video, we'll break down the new research, its scientific foundation, and its implications for the future of space travel. Let's get started. The idea of warp travel was born out of storytelling, not science. In 1966, Gene Roddenberry gave the crew of the Starship Enterprise a way to cross the stars without relying on teleportation or magical jumps. This concept of bending spacetime around a vessel resonated with audiences and planted a seed in the minds of future scientists. In 1994, that seed sprouted into real physics when Miguel Alcubierre published a paper describing how spacetime could be contracted in front of a ship and expanded behind it. This theoretical bubble could move faster than light without the ship itself breaking the cosmic speed limit. It elegantly exploited a loophole in Einstein's theory of relativity. Matter can't exceed light speed through space, but spacetime itself can stretch at any rate. The catch was catastrophic. Alcubierre's model required negative energy, a type of energy never observed in nature, and in quantities equivalent to the sun's mass. That made it a mathematical curiosity rather than an engineering possibility. Over time, researchers explored ways to make the concept less extreme. The real turning point came in 2021, when Alexei Bobrik and Gianni Martire proposed a physical warp drive. Their model replaced negative energy with positive, physically realizable energy. It couldn't exceed light speed, but it removed the biggest violation of known physics, transforming warp drive from pure speculation into something theoretically valid within general relativity. This shift was subtle, but profound. For the first time, physicists could study warp bubbles without depending on ingredients the universe might not provide. The significance of this breakthrough lies in its compatibility with real physics. Earlier concepts were elegant but impractical because they relied on negative energy. The Bobrick martyr model and its refinements demonstrated that warp bubbles can, in principle, be supported by positive energy, making the idea physically meaningful. The principle is straightforward. The spacecraft doesn't outrun light. Instead, spacetime itself moves. A stable bubble would allow a ship to remain at rest relative to its local frame while the surrounding fabric of the universe shifts. This bypasses the light speed barrier without violating relativity or causing time paradoxes, which plague other faster than light concepts like wormholes. However, even a physically valid warp bubble requires staggering amounts of energy, on the order of several Jupiter masses. Still, that's a finite, calculable figure, not an undefined impossibility. And because the shape and geometry of the bubble strongly influence the energy cost, refinements to the model could lower this requirement over time. Another key development is the idea of warp bubble signatures. In 2024, physicists proposed that a collapsing warp bubble would emit a distinct gravitational wave pattern. If any civilization were using warp technology, those ripples in spacetime could be detectable with sufficiently sensitive instruments. That turns warp research into more than just a propulsion idea it becomes a new way to look for advanced extraterrestrial activity. Scientists are also exploring how to generate, shape, and stabilize these bubbles. The field remains purely theoretical, but it's now grounded in the mathematics of general relativity rather than wishful thinking. What was once a single exotic model has become a growing area of legitimate research with teams worldwide publishing variations and refinements. The message here isn't that warp drive is around the corner, it's that the physics underpinning it no longer lives entirely in the realm of science fiction. Even if warp travel remains far out of reach, its study has immediate scientific value. 
pushing against the limits of relativity forces physicists to confront unanswered questions about space-time itself. This often leads to breakthroughs in unexpected areas, much like how early rocket research advanced fluid dynamics, or how gravitational wave detection deepened our understanding of black holes. A subluminal warp bubble, one that travels below light speed, could still have revolutionary applications. It could form a protective zone around a spacecraft, reducing inertial forces and shielding crews from cosmic radiation during high-speed travel. Such technology could make long-duration missions to the outer solar system far more viable, even without exceeding light speed. The detection aspect may be just as transformative. Instead of relying solely on radio signals, future search for extraterrestrial intelligence initiatives might scan the cosmos for gravitational disturbances indicative of artificial space-time manipulation. This would expand our search for intelligent life beyond the electromagnetic spectrum into the very structure of space-time itself. Technological barriers remain immense. Humanity cannot currently generate, store, or control the required energy, nor do we have a clear path to stabilizing such a bubble. A sudden collapse could release catastrophic amounts of energy. But unlike the situation 30 years ago, these are engineering problems, not fundamental physical impossibilities. Future research will likely focus on reducing energy requirements through more efficient bubble geometries, exploring lab-scale analogs to simulate space-time distortions, and developing early detection methods to study natural space-time warping in astrophysical environments. Science advances in steps, imagination, theory, then technology. Warp drive is still in the second stage, but crucially, it's no longer stuck in the first. Warp drive is no longer just science fiction. It's a real, though distant, scientific pursuit. The physics checks out. The challenge now is energy and engineering. Whether it flies or not, it's already reshaping how we understand space-time.